the legendary Lefty Drizel, an icon who personified Maryland pride, passed away this morning at the age of 92. You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, at the Jacklich Law Group. That our flag was still there. Oh! This is the Big Dog Post Game Show from Xfinity Center as Maryland goes down to Illinois 85-80. And here's a free throw shooting competition. Now, the real focus of today is actually on Lefty Drizel. He was born on December 25th, 1931, passed away today. He is the original iconic Maryland basketball coach, a career record of 786 and 394, won 67% of his games. At Maryland, he was 348 and 159, had some great, great teams. My first real game was at Colt Hill House on January 27, 1979. Albert King led those Maryland Terrapins over highly ranked Notre Dame when Kelly Trapuca went under a good throw career. Turks win that in overtime. Larry Gibson tied it up at 66. God, that was a, that was a fantastic day, Mason. And now we'll bring it back to what happened today. Um, the one-man band of Jameer Young plus a little bit of Dante Scott and Juju Reese was enough to overcome a lot of free throws from Illinois, but what did you see? Yeah, I think you really saw what the Terps have been looking for the entire year. Jameer Young uh, adds his points to it. Ju Juju Reese and Dante Scott both in the high teams and scoring tonight. But Wayne, here we are again. This time it's 85-80. It could be 61-59. to One guy short. A couple threes short. This team cannot shoot from range, and it allows other teams just to lock in and, and pack it in big moments. And they do. Illinois' defense is pretty good. I'm looking at a score sheet that Maryland goes 4 of 18 from 3. Illinois not much better at 5 for 20, but that one more 3 was enough. Yeah, they lost by 5, but they really lost the game when Jameer Young came down to the basket right there two times and he could not make a layup on the break they made him go to his right hand not as strong on the right as the left he misses that one Maryland doesn't get the rebound Terrence Shannon Jr. Now the Terp fans gave him a hard time he's had some legal problems um, word number zero for Illinois his acceleration was absolutely top level. You said he's just different. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I mean, just awareness of the game, getting out in the break. Obviously, you can see it when you look at this Maryland team on film. We've been talking about it on this show since, like, game number four this season. Poor body language after missed shots allows the other teams to get in break. Terrence Shannon, NBA speed, NBA finishing around the basket. A couple of fouls that could have gone uncalled down there, but in the end of it, you're allowing yourself and you're putting yourself in a position to lose the game when you're not getting back on defense. And it's the little things. It's always been the little things with this team. All right. Before we go to break, uh, by the way, Terrence Chen had 27 points. He was 14 for 16 from the free throw line. Illinois, 32 for 36. That's a lot of free throws. Maryland goes 24 for 29. Jameer Young goes 11 for 11. The referees lost control of the game and tried to get it back by calling fouls, some of which weren't there. And I don't recall the last time Maryland gave up 36 free throws at home. And we'll go to break with that. Maryland falls to 6-9 in the Big Ten. And uh, we'll be back after this session from the big dog himself. Boy, Jameer can get loose. That was important because uh, 
what Lefty did for basketball, not just wins and losses, but there's a lot of things that should go in, doesn't always go into the Hall of Fame voting, and certainly what Lefty did for the game of basketball, I think was the big thing that pushed him into the Hall of Fame. Since 1991, Viren Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viren Forgates for your next IT project. Hey, Rick Jackie, who's your favorite number one term? Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore. Really? Now, come on, you know, Rakeem Jarrett's always been my favorite number one. Hey, Rock Jarrett, who's your number one? The Rick Jacklish Law Group. Why? Awesome trial results, unbelievable customer service, plus you've taken great care of my mom over the last 20 years. Just some of the reasons that the Jacklish Law Group has been voted the number one personal injury trial firm in the entire USA. If you're hurt, call the big dogs. 855-BIG-DOG-1. Part of the coach was amazing. I actually, um, uh, Maryland was not initially my first choice. They were number five on my list. But once coach came in with this charismatic flair and with, with that kind of trusting nature, um, I, as soon as he left, I told my mom, I said, I'm signing with Maryland. And that's how that worked for me. By the way, this is Jeff Baxter, who hit that iconic shot at the Dean Dome. Uh, at that time, a shot heard around the world is Maryland yeah. and one of Lefty's biggest wins. Yes, yes, there. yes. Who was on the? Who was on that team with you? So it was Keith Gatlin was my point guard. Um, um, Lenny Bias, my main man, the guy who we went to at all for all things. Um, Terry Long and Derek Lewis. Um, we were all uh, on that team, and it, it was just it was it was a big win for us, especially during that year because we needed a huge win. Um, and I think that catapulted us into the NCAAs. I think it did as well. Yeah. That kicked off a party on this campus that was just epic. Uh, best moments talk, thinking about Lefty. Wow, it's a, it's a lot of moments when I think about Coach because, you know, when you think about the word motivation, I think about him. He put the M in motivation. When you think about caring, I think about him as well because he's such a caring uh, person. And then when you think about the, 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 the person that – Something he always told us was he was a God theory person. A lot of people don't know that, but he always told us to put God first. And that helped all of us on our team to grow as men. So it's amazing. But one funny story about him was that when we were playing bad, um, he would come onto the bench, call a timeout, and he would tell us, I'm going to find me five. I'm going to find me five. And that intimated with the fact, the fact that he was going to take all of us out and he was going to put five other players in. Most of the time we were motivated and we got out there and traditionally we came back and got a win. But that was one of the most amazing stories about Coach. Jeff, thanks for dropping in today. Uh, we've missed you on the postgame show. Absolutely. I'm sure Absolutely. you'll be back maybe next season. Yes, I will. This is Jeff Baxter. I'm Wayne Viner. One more break. We'll bring Mason back and wrap this up from Xfinity Center. Well, Mason, go over a couple of the positives, and then where do we go from here? Jameer Young got his 2,500th point tonight. It's a pretty big deal. He did run out of gas at the end, and that's happened a few times this year. Um, we got, you know, I had it here, but it sort of gets away. Who had the 17 points, which was Scott with the bad knee. Juju had 18 on Jameer's score line, 28 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 11 for 11 for the line. Still impressive even in the loss. Well, I was going to cut you off, but I decided to wait. There is no bright sides with a program like this, and I'll go back to it, with a building like this, and what you say about the fan base, it doesn't really matter. There are a few teams that play college basketball that have a building this size that can ever fill it, and this is one of those places. And at some level, you can say they're one basket short, which I said earlier in the show, you can make every excuse in the world about where this program is. 
but in the modern era of college sports, you have got to compete at the highest level year in and year out. You're not wrong if you're a Maryland fan and you're watching this show and you think that because this program has the resources, it's going to have the practice facility, it has the budget, it has all those things that other programs do not tolerate teams like this. Teams like this get booed in sports. and. That's just where we are. That is where this team's at. That's where this program's at this year. It's unacceptable for Maryland basketball to look like this and, and not compete at the highest level and, and be in a position to be playing in, in the NCAA tournament at this level. And we finally have enough outrage in a game that we could have, should have, might have won. Um, and that, that's going to wrap it up because up and to our left on press row, Bruce is watching that Maryland and Syracuse lacrosse game. Yeah, we lost today. We are blessed to have two games going on at a national level today. Maryland lacrosse ranked fourth in the nation. We'll be back later as Bruce will do the post game show for that. And we will see you after the Northwestern game coming up next week. Good afternoon from Extended